this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can run the best defense in Madden 21, how you can use this to shut down the Gun Bunch meta offense. So we're going to talk a little bit today about how you actually go about doing that. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, my name is Cody. And what we do here at the channel is we try to help people become the best Madden players they could possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on my YouTube channel. Now, like I said, we're going to be talking with you today about how you can actually go about practically slowing down and consistently stopping and having an answer for what I believe to be the best offense in Madden 21, and that's the Jets Gun Bunch offense. Um, such a powerful formation and such a powerful offense. We're going to talk today about how you can go about stopping that. The first thing that I want to let you know is we're going to be utilizing the nickel 335 and the nickel 335 wide to stop this. Now, I actually have a full defensive guide on this that walks you through my complete defensive guide to zone drops, to man defense, to match defense, to blitzing defenses, as well as to run defenses. And so if you wanna learn my entire comprehensive nickel 335 wide guide out of the 46 playbook, I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description of this video. You can get that for just $15 and it will literally have you locking down everything that you face. But in this video, we're gonna focus in on how you stop the bunch, okay? So what you wanna do, is you want to put your zone drop, you want to put your flats on 30 yards, you want to put your curl flats on 10 yards, and then you want to put your hook curls on five. So this is kind of what it's going to look like right here uh, when we play this defense. And the next thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that we've got safety subbed in at linebacker across the board. This is going to allow us to have better coverage on the field. It's actually going to allow us to have a lot more speed on the field, and so that's why we recommend doing that. And then in the nickel 335 wide, we want to make sure we have the Mike Blitz 3 and the Cover 4 Show 2 both set as different audibles that we can go into and shift into out of the 335. Now, when we come out in this defense, the first thing that we're going to talk about is, again, kind of your base coverage setup. So, um, first and foremost, when you're running this defense, we're going to audible down to Mike Blitz 3. And we're going to actually, um, we're not going to shift anyone against the gun bunch. Uh, we might spread the defensive line, but that's about it. We're not going to shift them left or right. You can do that. Um, if you want to shift them to the right, you certainly can. And kind of stand like right in here. This is, this is an option. Um, I find mostly that I have the best success with just simply either a, a standard defensive line or a spread defensive line. And I want to kind of stand like right here with my user. Okay, now from there, we're gonna adjust our coverages and kind of change and tweak some things um, that are gonna help us be a little bit more effective within this defense. And so the first thing that we're going to do is we are almost always going to essentially run a Mabel coverage to the bunch side. The difference is how you actually go about calling it, what are the adjustments that you do, those are all things that are going to be a little bit different depending on the situation. So this is kind of where I'm at um, in the in the season as far as how I like to do it. Um, you can do it differently if you want to, but this is kind of where I'm I'm sitting right now as far as a defensive setup and how I like to how I like to defend this. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to on the left hand side of the screen. I like to go ahead and basically just set up a cover two defense. So you see right here, we have a cloud flat and then we have a deep half. Now, you don't want to do that. That's understandable. You could do, there's other, there's different ways about going about this. Um, this is just what I like to do. Okay. If you don't want to do it this way, then you can do it this way. Okay. This is actually probably a little bit better um, as far as like the totality of the coverage and being able to handle a lot of different things that the defense might go. So you can do that as well. Those, those are two different options, but this is a nice little easy way to start. So you can essentially the left side is going to be a cover two defense. And the right side, what I like to do, and again, this is um, a little bit, um, you just have to kind of be aware of a couple of things with this. But what I like to do on this is I actually like to go ahead and uh, just shade my coverage down. So, uh, for example, we want to shade our coverage down before we adjust that left side. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come out, you're going to shade your coverage down. The reason why is because it's going to put this guy right here in a 30-yard flat zone, this, uh, this slot corner right here. He's going to go into a 30-yard flat zone, which is what we need. And then what you've got is you've got 
two more players that you can use to adjust. So typically what I will do is I will typically go ahead and put the linebacker in a seam flat and I'll put the defensive end on the right into a three rep hook zone. Now the last little problem with this is that again, whenever you're running this defense, almost always the bunch is notorious for being able to absolutely obliterate cover three defenses. And so you have a little bit of a decision to make. You can put this guy into a, um, you can put this safety right here into a cloud or into a, oh gosh, what am I thinking? A D path if you want to, you can do that. The one problem that I find with that is it does cause me some issues. Like if they run like a corner route or something like that. That's also why what we'll typically do occasionally is, you know, we might take that yellow zone away and we might man up the circle receiver. Depending on the zones you choose, that's really gonna help with that decision. So if you are playing cover two, then what you might do is you might do that right there, right? You might do something like this. If you're playing cover two on the right, that, that's an example of what I'm talking about. This defense right here is pretty good. There's really only one play that can hang with it, and that's the Jets dig. So if they run something like this Jets dig here, the one problem with this is if he gets even, they can pass him this to the right, and they can kind of swerve catch it. That's the one problem that I've ran into with this. That's why I typically, uh, what, what I will do is I'll typically go ahead and create, you know, something like a cover, cover six. The problem is, because of bunch trail, you kind of need um, this guy to be in this middle third. And so it, it does leave you with a little bit of a question, you know, do you, how do you kind of play this out? You know, do you put this, you know, do, you know, kind of, you kind of find yourself a little bit stuck. Um, you can't solve every problem that you have, um, but you can play pretty decently good. Um, and what I mean by that is, Whatever you do with these two guys is really the biggest thing that you're gonna you're gonna have to decide. Um, so what I'll do is I'll either run a cover four, so it'll look like this right here, right? This is the de this defense right here is pretty dang good. Uh, and the reason I like doing this is because if they go with something like this mesh play right here, you're gonna see that this outside quarter zone is gonna play it relative. Like they're gonna be in the vicinity. He didn't get there because he didn't motion out. Let me show you that one more time. Um, so you're going to see like, basically you're going to do this. So yeah, you can do something like this right here. Um, I actually find that if you're going to put, like, if you're good, like when you audible to Mike Blitz three, let me shift back over to Mike Blitz three real quick here. So when you audible to Mike Blitz three, you're going to notice that this guy over here on the left side is already in a purple zone. So if you want to, you can just do that right there. Um, again, we have to, you know, again, there's a lot of questions with what do you do with this? Like, what do you do over here? Like, do you run man on him? The problem with that, like, let's say we do that. Um, if they have a good route runner there, this is kind of the problem that you can run into in the bunch. If you do a defense like that, this is kind of the one thing that you have to watch out for. Now, again, you can use her this if you want to. Um, part of whenever you're defending or whenever you're creating a defense, one of the big things that you have to decide is like how you're going to you know, defend it from a user perspective. But what you'll see is this cover four, you'll see that we can hold the safety there and we essentially are gonna create a one-on-one -on -one matchup to that left side. That's something that you have to be prepared about. Another thing is like, let's say that we go to the play. I'm not sure if I have it. I don't think I do actually, um, but let's just, I don't know if I'll be able to, to share, share it. But basically what I'm gonna get at here is if we were to take the tight end and run him on like a crossing route or a post route, you need that deep third or that whatever zone you're gonna have over there to be able to handle that. So the deep half is fine, you can do that. Um, that's just something you have to think about. But anyways, uh, back to you know back to this right side. So uh, again, normally what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an outside quarter and an inside quarter, and then we're just gonna play Mabel coverage, just like this right here. And then really the only vulnerability to this defense is really two things. The first thing is the bunch trail. So I'm just going to run this um, as, you know, my opponent would run it. So something like this right here, we've got curls there to hold these safeties. And then what they're going to basically do is just let this, you see this little bomb right here that they can have. So that's something you've got to watch as a user. Um, if you see a post route coming over the middle, 
you need to kind of you need to kind of like at least pay attention to it because it could be a problem. Okay, that's one of the beauties of the bunch is that you it really can um, kind of make every coverage show pretty hard to play. And the last thing that I want to go over as far as it pertains to this defense is um, specifically this specific set about a gun bunch. So if I play again, if I play this defense right here, now I have noticed this. Like if I play like if I play that defense with like a and Mabel coverage on the left, like that right there. If you watch bunch trail, it does play it a little bit differently. So let me just show you the same setup. Okay, and I just want you to watch because the safety on the left is in the deep half. He'll run in the middle, and it it kind of it, it it doesn't solve it, but it does like at least start to solve it. Okay, um, but anyways, on the left side, the last thing that I want to share with you um, today is I want to show you this right here. So um, again, we've set up our coverage, right? Um, and then what they're going to do is they're going to run something like this right here. Almost guarantee you they're going to run something like this. Um, this circle receiver. You'll, you'll see he's kind of, he's kind of hard pressed to get open. He he doesn't always have a lot of success. If he does, if they do get this open, this is where I like to go to this cover four show two setup. And the reason I like this so much is because you can it basically turn it into a cover two. So all we're doing is we're going to put both of our corners on uh, cloud flats. We're going to put our defensive end on the right side in a three rack or a bluff blitz, and then we're going to man up the linebacker on the right on the circle receiver when you do this specific adjustment it takes away the other stuff that they're able to do so like the all the stuff we were seeing from that that cover four they're no longer you see you got two people sitting in the area of the post route there's not really a good window for them to be able to throw that the other thing that you have as a as a natural byproduct of this defense is now, the one thing you do have to watch out of, you know, if they run like everybody deep, um, you could have a little bit of a challenge. But if they run that play mesh, like I was showing you, they can go to this play right here, but you've got him manned up, right? So he's running out there. He's going to make a, make a play with the ball. So this is how you can kind of hedge your bet a little bit. These two defenses ran together, um, make it really, really hard to move the ball out of the bunch offense, specifically against this so this is a, a simple little solution for how you can handle some of the things the bunch is going to throw your way. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you have not already and you want to learn exactly how I recommend to run the 335 wide, I've been running this offense or defense since June. It's been the best defense in Madden 21. If you watch any competitive player play, it's about an 80% chance they're going to be running the 335 wide because it's literally that good. So I would recommend you getting the guide. Even if you already are running the defense, you'll probably find some stuff that maybe you didn't know yet about the defense. Um, this defense is super, super effective, and we really go in deep, uh, in depth in the guide, teaching you exactly how to run it. So if you want to get it, it's in the description for just 15 bucks. You can get my entire defense. It literally walks you step by step through how to play match defense, zone drop defense, blitzing defenses, run defenses, as well as man defenses at a high level. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up via text message. And if you want to get that defensive guide, you can get that in the description of this video for just 15 bucks.